Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about Mystery Science Theater 3000, episode 1308, The Batwoman, or episode 225. The third Emily hosted episode. She's appeared in other episodes. The bots from her, uh, I guess, crew have were sh shown up in the Joel one, all that stuff, but this is uh, the third hosted Emily episode. There's certain things about this I like, I still like the chemistry of her and the bots. I like, I'm, I have questions about certain things, but this felt like a midpoint of the season and not maybe kind of the fault of this whole current Gizmoplex thing, which I do like, but this is kind of seeing it all like this, seeing it all not work as well because it's the second Mexican wrestler movie, which is like funny that they're doing Mexican wrestler movies, but it's also like Santo and the Batwoman are like very different. I get it. It's funny. I would have preferred they went back to this well in another season, not so quickly. Um, I will say this is I don't know, equally as bad as Santo, I guess, just as much deep hurting. Um, I do think this episode has some really cool moments. Um, but I didn't think it was necessarily as funny as we saw with, uh, I guess, the last episode Emily did was Dr. Mordred. Um, that, I think, so far is her best of the three that I've seen. Um, but also, I think what worked about that is that was a movie I really wanted to see. And although Batwoman, like, I guess two of hers have been comic book related, uh, interestingly enough. I just wasn't feeling it as much, and I didn't think the jokes were as there. Although I did like a uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast episode reference with where they said banjo which is funny because space ghost is a great show it's also funny because joel wrote for space ghost i don't know if he wrote that one but i i appreciated that one and that the ship was called reptilicus i mean thing is the fact that it, that it was a bad movie called batwoman and this is not the wild world of of batwoman that i've actually not seen that episode but i know that's a pretty big one and it has, has a ship called reptilicus is like i mean i understand this had to be done at some point, really. It's it's like kind of hard not for the show not to do it. But um, I did like the Reptilicus thing. I did also like that they did the song in Spanish, which was pretty hilarious. They did Every Country Has a Monster in Spanish. I do have that song like on a lot of my Spotify playlists. I listen to it regularly. It is a great song. Jonah does a great job on that. Who also directed this episode. I think the one thing with this one is I almost feel like of the ones, I, I feel like Dr. Mordred, I remember very well with Emily and her crew. It feels like it works well with that crew. Um, I just, beyond Atlantis and this, it always feels like I have a rougher relationship as a viewer. I still like them, I still laugh, but it just doesn't seem as good of a fit as like the new, like Dr. Mordred, like it was something from the 90s, it feels like she should be doing that. Like I think Emily would have done better with Demon Squad. I basically think, yeah, it's like Joel should do the 60s ones and Emily and Jonah should do the newer ones in my uh, mind. But I think Emily worked so much better with Dr. Mordred. So I still like this. Um, a lot of the host segments had more to do with the movie, which I don't think is always true with everyone. But it felt like with this one, it kind of bothered me more for whatever reason as a viewer you might say oh, that's kind of stupid it probably is as well as the thing that she's part bot and like that jonah has a similar thing i'm curious where we're going with the human cyborg host thing i'm a little curious about that uh where we're going with that overall and and, and i don't know it, it was fun seeing like kinga go on vacation and everything was going on in um i guess it's moon 13 or whatever it is uh, that was kind of fun, but uh, I don't think this was, this is probably an episode I felt the least sort of passionate about, even though I liked the Reptilicus gag, even though I liked, I guess what she's tied up thing, I like that kind of host segment thing, but I, it just wasn't a huge hit for me, and I don't think this is one I would show someone to get them into. I think it was one like, oh, Batwoman, also no Batgirl references, and that whole thing just happened, but I'm sure they wrote this a long time ago, and they can't just like put a stupid ad lib in there. I still like the show, and I, I will say this is Emily's third hosted episode. Not a bad third hosted episode by any means. I think it takes a while for a host of anything, not just Mystery Science Theater, to really sink in. So when I say that, I think uh, I'm not trying to be too judgmental or anything like that. I'm being realistic, to be honest. 
Um, but I think she's working very well. And as someone, she is a puppeteer. I think uh, you can kind of tell she knows how to work with the puppets almost as well as uh, Joel, really, I think. You don't see, like, a performer who's trying to figure that part out, which is interesting. I feel like it's more just, like, finding the right movies for her and that crew, which I don't honestly think this was, but I think they got it. I They did sort of get it to work in some places, and you can tell, like, they could get this to work later. But, like, why don't we give them some easy low balls at this point so they can, like, build up their comedic chops um, as a crew, not saying they're not funny or anything. Um, that's just my interpretation. Didn't have as many bright moments as even Beyond Atlantis. I'd, I'd say this is probably one of my least favorite of the season so far. I still like this season. I still had a good time with this, but nothing. It just. It's been a few days since I watched this, and nothing other than the Reptilicus thing, the banjo thing, the bot thing. Like those things stick out for me, but I wasn't like really losing it with the jokes and stuff. And part of me thinks like that's the movie they picked. Which, like, having a Batwoman wrestler spy... That, why were Mexican wrestlers always spies and stuff? That's such an interesting film genre there. Um, but, yeah, I, I I guess I'm being a little looser about my review of this. But I, I do think um, this was kind of one you can probably, like... If you're... It, this is for the fans, probably only. Although I think things like Munchie and Dr. Mordrum, we had a good run there. You you sometimes have episodes like this. But, uh, you know, I, I, I still see things building. I think it's progressing in a good way. I just wasn't, I guess, as into this one. Um, but I'm still hopeful for Emily and her run as host. And uh, the future of the show and everything just wasn't, wasn't feeling this one as much as usual. But uh, it was a little weird that that ship was called Reptilicus. That's a... Uh, who names their ship Reptilicus? You know? Who would ever... Who? If I ever had a ship, I guess I will name it Reptilicus. But anyway. So if you have seen Mystery Science Theater 3000, episode 1308, The Batwoman, and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.